today's devotional can be found in 3 Nephi chapter 3 verse 2. Laconius, most noble and chief governor of the land, behold, I write this epistle unto you and do give you exceedingly great praise because of your firmness, and also the firmness of your people in maintaining that which you, you suppose to be your right and liberty, yea, ye do stand well as if you were supported by the hand of a god in defense of your liberty and your property and your country, or that which ye call, which you do, ye do call so. Okay. Now this was written by a band of robbers to a noble leader, trying to puff him up and trick him into lowering his defenses, that it might be easier to overtake him and his people. But, there will be many throughout history that will try and flatter us with words. To try and have us to lower our defenses, to think that we shouldn't spend so much time defending what we believe in, and believe to be precious, that we should relax and live life to the fullest. We can live life to the fullest while we are defending what is precious to us. Because if we lower our defenses to have fun, if we don't remember what is precious to us and treat it as it's precious to us, we will lose it, lowering our defenses and ignoring what is precious to us will have us lose that. And we don't want to do that because then we will have lost it and it will be our fault for not protecting it as we should. People will try and sway us with words of either praise or malcontent, trying to make us give up the fight for what we believe in. But we shouldn't. And we need to be firm in defending what we believe and in defending our heart and those we care about. And, when, and we need to be firm in maintaining our right and liberty and standing well because Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ do support us. And we should defend our liberty and that which we care about, even if it means our lives, we should be willing to give our lives for what we care about. Because you see, Christ was firm in maintaining that which he's supposed to be our right and liberty to look beyond our imperfections and see and not only see, but live up to our potential as children of God. So he stood firm and carried out the atonement, even though people tried to trick him into acting imperfectly so that he couldn't be the one to carry out the atonement. And his, his, his main opponent was the one who also vied to be the savior, and that would be Satan. Because at one point Satan was called Lucifer and he was an angel and it just didn't work out for him. So he got jealous and rebelled and became forever evil after being cast out of Heavenly Father's presence. We need to know what is precious to us and we need to stand for it. We need to be firm and ignore the soothsaying words of those who will attempt to destroy us with words. Because the kind of words that puff us up and have us only think of ourselves are not of God. That which inspires us to do good for ourselves or others by the Spirit of God, that which makes us happy, that which prompts us to use our time, talents, and everything else to help others, thereby helping ourselves grow. That is of God, and that is what we need to listen to. And
and our liberties will stay strong so long as we know what to listen to and what to ignore. <clears throat> our liberties will stay strong so long as we defend it in firmness and faith and so long as we stand for what we believe in and be not afraid. But it's our choice. Just remember, if nobody is there to defend the liberties, it is easier to take them away. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.